The JT-8D workhorse power plant for the commercial aircraft industry powers 38% of the world's commercial fleet. The latest generation JT-8D-219 engine provides over 18% improved fuel burn, 48% more time on station above 35,000 feet, 30% improvement in climb rate, stage three noise compliance with margin, 99% lower emissions, and a 35% lower infrared signature. The engine's gonna offer some significant uh, emissions reduction and uh, significant noise reduction. We've got uh, a new combustor that will go into the engines that go into the production versions of this aircraft that will have even further uh, emissions reductions relative to this. We're gonna meet all the IKO regulations for a year 2000 and beyond. And we're gonna achieve stage three with margin. Uh, and those two benefits are going to be significant environmental uh, improvements uh, besides the obvious fuel burn improvement that we're going to get with this uh, aircraft. Friday, July 9, 1999 witnessed the successful first flight of the new JT-8D-219 on 7Q7's Boeing 707 at the San Antonio International Airport. The JT-8D-219 mounted as the number one engine on the outboard side of the left wing performed flawlessly. As part of the 7Q17, BF Goodrich Aerospace provides the engine buildup unit and the MD-80 inlet and reverser. The Nordum Group provides the new struts and cowl doors. There's no question which of the four propulsion systems is modern technology. Royce Groans, chief test pilot for the 7Q7 Boeing 707. We just returned from our first flight with this uh, new engine on this aircraft, the JT-8D-219. We had really had excellent uh, flight throughout. Uh, the takeoff rolls, very nominal, uh, no problems uh, at all, no, no surging, no compressor stalling. The engine performed uh, flawlessly. Uh, likewise, climbing out at altitude, uh, uh, we, we got up to 42,000 feet and, um, and maneuvering the throttle up there had no problems as far as any compressor stalls. Uh, uh, from 42,000 feet then we descended uh, uh, into Roswell, New Mexico and again uh, no problems retarding the throttle uh, at altitude as well during the descent uh, bringing it all the way back to flight idle no problems at all so basically very pleased with the engine it did uh, very very well uh, and uh, again uh, for landing rollout as well no problems of course uh, didn't have the thrust reverse on this one but uh, bringing it back to idle no problems uh, uh, we did some uh, in-flight minimum control speeds, and with the air, uh, with the engine pushed up to uh, takeoff ready to thrust, uh, and the number four engine back again, uh, we were able to uh, maintain excellent control and, and get uh, uh, in-flight minimum control speed there. Uh, then, likewise, with uh, the uh, JT-8D pulled back to flight idle, and the other engines at uh, takeoff ready to thrust, we again uh, were able to maintain excellent control and. Uh, and establish an uh, in-flight minute control speed. So all in all, I think uh, congratulations to all the team that's worked very hard on getting this uh, engine on this aircraft. Uh, it really performed well, and uh, people should be very pleased and proud of uh, their work. We enjoyed flying it. Larry Otto was the other test pilot. Well, it's nice to see a 30-year-old airplane with a brand new engine on it. And uh, the engine performed like uh, a good MD-80 engine would. and. Uh, very soft, very responsive, and uh, lots of power. Really enjoyed the flight. The joint venture between Pratt & Whitney and 7Q7, with the support of 7Q7 suppliers, BF Goodrich Aerospace, and the Nordum Group, has the Boeing 707 JT-8D-219 re-engining program off to a flying start. Desmond McAvady, owner of Omega Air, and the major partner in 7Q7. It was unbelievably trouble-free. Normally in test programs, you know, there's so many glitches and snags. We went off and we flew for three hours today and came back with not one glitch or not one snag on the, on the installation or on the aircraft. It was absolutely amazingly trouble-free. The program's first flight was a complete success. Four engines will be installed and flying by the end of 1999. 
and commercial certification completed by the second quarter of the year 2000. The JT-8D engine, selected by commercial users as the engine of choice for the 707 aircraft, is the lowest cost, most economical alternative for the Joint Stars aircraft. 